It's been a few years since I built this trommel. I thought I'd go over it, uh, show some changes that I've made, and some future enhancements I think would just, I don't know, increase its uh, uh, usefulness. So I've had to replace the barrel on this. Um, the old one started to, to some of the welds just started to tear out. And so I thought, well, I'm going to take the opportunity to make the, the whole inner tube longer. Um, so it protrudes out of the frame more now. And that's really great because when I place a wheelbarrow uh, at the end in here, there's more room um, to manoeuvre the wheelbarrow in and out after it's full. Uh, other things I've done. Um, oh, just about the barrel. The barrel... Uh, the tube of this is round but but it's kind of actually not round in some regards um, and that's because I didn't have a piece of this mesh that was the right width I think it's about 1.4 meters in length when I made my original one uh, the tube was the width of my roll of mesh I think it was about uh, 1.2 meters and I wanted a bit more length as you can see on the end it's longer now but to achieve that I cut my mesh lengthways but I had to insert a panel and so you can see uh, here and here I've stitched an extra panel in place to get the width or to get the diameter that I needed now that introduced some complications because uh, you can see here uh, mesh like this is stretch it stretches and I don't know if you can see that in the perspective yeah, you can um, as as close as I tried to do to keep this straight and flat I still introduced humps and bumps um, so if you can find mesh that's already the width off the roll that you want that'll make it a lot easier to make this you'd only have one line of stitching uh, I had to have two the second thing I did was um, I had a really, in fact I've got no no framework through here, I had a wee strip of this metal uh, in here, I thinking that it would help uh, bond the, the tyre rim with the cable ties, I thought it would help, rip, like a washer, uh, distribute some weight or some um, pressure, in the end I didn't need that, and it, in fact in my early trials with my other one, I had a wee strip about this wide of um, sheet metal, and that hindered flow of dirt and things, so I don't have that at all. So that was something I eliminated. I did put in this insert here. Um, and that's really good. Uh, first of all, the edge of this uh, is pretty sharp. When it's spinning, there's no way you'd want your hand near this. It would rip you quite badly. So uh, that this metal serves that. But it also, uh, as things are emptying out, it just helps them. It helps direct um, the refuse into the, into the location, either onto the ground or into a wheelbarrow. So this strip, I'd do again, it's really good. These casters, they've been really good. However, as you can see, they're upturned and debris and soil ends up in here uh, and going down into the washer. Now, these casters were never designed for this purpose and I get that, um, but, but what it's meant is um, the, what, the bearings in here all bind up and these don't, that one seems okay. They also twist okay, um, but uh, they are coming end of life. You can see there's a bit of play there now. But um, overall, they've sat inside the rim really well, and I'm really happy with how that's worked. So they're good. They just need to be replaced from time to time. So that's something I'm aware of. Uh, next time I'd build a lot more tensioning play into the system. So. Um, I don't know, there are variations in the in, in the tube diameter, and so if it's slightly out of round, which my one is when it rotates, you find that this the slack of this comes and goes, and then it can jump, it can cause it to jump out of its, its, its tracks, so I've had to be aware of that. So next time I would give a lot more travel or play through here for adjusting of belt tension. Um, but it's okay, but that's just something else. Uh, and similar here, just a tension, that independent motor there. So I'd adjust that as well. The wheels, quick and dirty the way I approached it. I I literally welded the stem of the bike uh, from the, the, the bike forks directly onto my frame. Uh, it's okay, 
but being that these are tall wheels with sort of slender forks if the whole thing gets bound up in dirt as it accumulates around the bottom of the wheel then I'm maneuvering the whole frame out the wheel can twist because it's quite flexible through here I just used the wheels that I had and that was great you know recycling it's all good next time I think um, 20 inch or BMX style wheels with forks would be better a little bit lower a bit tougher uh, less likely to twist so the last thing I want is is for this whole stem to just get twisted through here it's not meant to rotate at all it's a fixed point that's something I'd do and of course you know old tires old tubes you get that sort of thing happening so uh, a wider tire than this one would be good so a BMX may, or something a little bit wider a mountain bike style tire a little bit wider would be good originally I built this with a piece of ACM panel on this entire side that was because as the trommel rotates soil and everything flicks all over the place and it would come flying at the side so it was useful to have the ACM but that added a whole lot of weight to the uh, structure so I took the ACM panel off uh, ACM is aluminium composite so it's it's really great structurally sound but it's heavy um, and I just put on some I don't know, some old curtains that you get in like industrial freezers and things or freezer doors, uh, freezer panel type buildings so I just use these and as you can see it's sufficient to keep the dirt away um, sometimes it touches the rotating tube but it's never going to cause a problem uh, as far as binding and it's safe so that's quite good This is what I'm cleaning out today, this is our compost just kitchen a food scrap we've just dumped here it's been sitting idle now for over six months so it's all broken down quite nicely and, and there's a lot of weeds growing there's a silver beet plant there uh, I suspect there were some potatoes hiding in there which I'll retrieve I'm going to just fork out the large rooty things plants uh, and then I'm going to trommel and clean up everything that remains Okay, this is an example of what's been happening because because the caster has got dirt in it um, I'm being careful not to touch that because I don't want to but it's got grime in here I actually can't adjust it anymore um, you know there's an adjuster on the screw real simple but as you can see I mean it's still turning but it's no longer optimum it's not in the track so uh, that's just something I'm going to have to repair and while it's running I'll just show you the out of roundness of it I don't know if you can see that I'll step back a little bit and and having a look at the belt, I'll go around this way. You can see the belt, it's got quite a bit of movement there. And, and now you can see that center track, the drive track if you like, is more or less out of round. So that's why it's uh, like it is. Still, look what's done so far. Amazing, that's the third barrow. We're nearly there. Carry on Jade. Despite those things, this is an incredible tool. How would I do this without this? It takes sifting by hand. How would I do that? Well, look at that. Isn't that cool? And, but you can see what I mean about it backing up against the wheels. And that, that's fine when it's stationary. There's no drama here. But I found in the past if I tried to move it um, and twist it, the wheels stay still and the mount point up top on the frame has tried to bend and you know clearly that's bending metal it's not meant to pivot as I said earlier um, 
So we now just have to unbury the wheels. But that's good stuff there, isn't it? That's, that's good stuff. That is destined for this. And this is going to be a little mini glass house. Not glass, um, but it's it's made out of um, those IBCs. One metric or 1,000 litre IBCs. So I cut it in half, shortened it, put on some hinges, put on some framework, raised it off the ground. Uh, and now I'm going to just put a few rocks in here before I put that seed raising mix in.